Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I need to adjust my microphone. Bear with me a moment. There we go. Just going to throw you around a little bit. Everything's buzzing. Go away. I should have put my phone away. Oh, it's fine. It can stay on the desk. Some ASMR buzzing. Hello, Tapper. The king controls the water pump. If you want water, you need to pay like everyone else. That's fine. Um, how much for a drink? Just a few caps for a good long swig. Okay. Don't get wise. Can I buy bottled water? Sure thing. Oh, oh look at it. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> oh, my God. How much is that going to cost? Oh, fucking take it all. Get out of here. Else. Quick, run. Run, 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 run. Oh, I need to take a swig. The pump is property of the king. You'll need to pay if you want a drink. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I've done it. Oh, so we've stocked up on purified water. I did have to, like, give it a Google to find out where I could buy some purified water. Because I was going literally everywhere, and everywhere only sells alcohol. So, we need to find some sex some sex workers. Um, in fact, we're close to one of them, so we'll go get them. We need to go get the cowboy ghoul. And we also need to go get the, uh, the, the, the sex bot. The sex bot, sex bot. And I'm not entirely sure where the sex bot is, but we will find it. It's somewhere in Freeside. Um, I did give it a Google, and it showed me on the little, like, local map, but I've always been crap at reading them. Hello! Hey. Howdy. Howdy! Um, I have some questions. And I may have answers. Um, how would you feel about... What do you know about the Van Gra Why can't I ask her? Couple of rad scorpions, those two. Gloria is the stable one, but she'd slit your throat if there's a prophet in it. Or rather, she'd tell her brother to do it for her. John Baptiste is one of the sicker humans I've had the displeasure of observing. Um, why? Oh. Unless I can, like, Howdy. maybe it's like one of your sub things. Who are I've you? Because we've spoken to her before. I bet you've seen a lot over the years. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. That's a bit cryptic, Beatrix. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? Here we go, here we go. Are you interested in working for the Garrets? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. No, no. Do they need another guard? No, no, he's gone now. Uh, this would be for an escort. Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. No, 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 no. When I say escort, I mean prostitute. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? I mean, I quite like Hancock, but turns out there are customers looking for someone just like you. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? Ugh. Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. Well, um, you'd be an independent with a deep discount on the booze, maybe? Mm. They do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers, if I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Tell the Garrets I'll stop by to work out terms. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Talk to you later. Yeah, see you in a bit. So tell James Garrett Beatrix will be joining the Wrangler. Brilliant. So we've got the ghoul cowboy, or cowgirl, I guess. Um, yeah, so we've got to find the sex bot, who I believe is called Fisto. <laughs> Fisto, the Protectron robot. Do we have a uh, thing for it? What is this? Oh. Okay. Um, recruit a sex bot. Here we go. There's two different markers now. I don't know what they're for. I'm assuming one takes me round and through the other door. Perhaps. Oh, no, I'm not sure, actually. What is that? Oh. Um, you can't get to there, can you? 
I'm pretty certain that's not like a location, unless it's... Oh no, it is definitely over there. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> that's very weird. Usually they just point to the closest door that takes you into that area, but apparently not. Ah, oh, I've had some crumpets and I'm very full now. Right. That takes me back out there for some reason. Hmm. Maybe I've got to ask somebody about the sex bot. Maybe that's it. That's what That might be why it's taking me out somewhere. Uh, but when I looked at the map, it looked like it was over here. Uh, down the way that we went with Otis a while ago. Um, if we wander down, we might be able to find it. It's like an old robotics centre. I don't know if it's here. It might be somewhere else. I'm not sure. We might end up having to like fast travel somewhere. But it looked like it was on this road. But I'm not feeling too hopeful about it. Is this the building? There's no... There's like no doors or anything to go through around here at all. Mm, nope. <laughs> okay, maybe it is in the other area. Let's go ahead and fast travel to it. Maybe? Yeah, let's fast travel to it. Where... Uh, in fact, we'll, no, we'll just run back. It'll be fine. Because I, I think if you fast travel, it takes you, like, outside. No, it doesn't take you outside. What am I talking about? We'll just go to it. It'll be fine. <laughs> Looks like... Oh, hello. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Some pinion nuts. Are you taking the piss? You've ran up to me just to tell me that. Some fucking pinion nuts. Or pinion nuts. I don't even know. How? Hmm. I've come round here on very, very few occasions, evidently. Oh my god. It's a whole new world. The reason it's so confusing is because, like, on the other side of these buildings, like, that is the other side of the atomic, uh, the Van Graffs. So, like, I just assumed that this area you couldn't really get to. Because it would have made no sense to get to it. Uh, oh, adore, 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 Cerulean Robotics, let me in. I bet there's going to be enemies in here. I bet it's not going to be easy at all. Brilliant. What a fantastic start. Boone, are you ready? Oh, God. Hello? Oh, what are you? Difficult to hit, apparently. A giant rat. Eugh. They don't look very pleasant at all. Hello, little fella. Oh, fucking hell. There he is. See, we can Oh, my God, I actually hit him from that far away. Get him wrecked. Get him, boy. Ah! Don't like that. I do not like that. There you are. Boom. Oh, there's a protector on here. With some energy shell shells. Energy shells, sure. Hey, you can have it, okay? What have we got here? Some scrap metal. I always pick up scrap metal, even though I don't really know what it's used for. I feel like it's quite important. What have we got here? More scrap metal. More scrap metal. Uh, ha ha! Oh, you're a big one! Oh, you're the same size as the other ones. You just made, like scared me a little bit there. <laughs> made me a little bit more nervous than the other ones did. Oh, hello! Some more scrap metal. All of the scrap metal. Average. Uh oh. A science skill of 50? No, but he's right there! Fisto! We need science 50 to finish this quest. That's mad. Holy shit. Well, I guess we're not finishing it yet. Um, I guess we're going to make an early trip to the Great Khans. <laughs> because I don't really know what else to do. Um, we could go kill Caleb. I did see him on the strip while looking for some water, so we could go to Caleb. I think that might be a bit of a better plan. So we'll go see- Lucky what we have here, ladies. Another unsuspecting ponce. You what? What the fuck is going on? Duh, oh, Roof! Rancorous Roof? Hello? 
um, Malefic Maud and Irate Ida. Okay. Um, let's go kill Caleb, I guess. Jesus Christ. Huh, so the Garrus sent you to track me down. What a joke. Listen, give me a fair share of the caps and your hat and you can go free. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. All I need is your hat and you're a free man. I'll tell Francine you're dead. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrets thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. It would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. I hear you've been helping out around town. It's much appreciated, friend. I think I have all of the debts collected. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. Oh, you do? That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of cash. Yeah, but I've done no that. Ones. Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. One minute, um... Just bring back his hat if you decide to take care of him for us. I doubt... Uh, I took care of McCaffrey. Yes! Where's his hat? Uh, right here. This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. Wait, what? You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. He now had 2,000 caps on him and I let him go. Use it. Thanks for helping us. I mean, I got a room, but... The one in the corner. Oh, hello. Um, right, so we need to up science, don't we? We're just going to pile 10 into science and get it leveled up. Um, we'll do 5 into speech because we're almost there for it, which is nice. That can't be mine. Where is it? I need food and sleep. It's a good job I got those pinion nuts, isn't it? Fucking hell, what a disgrace. Let's eat some dog meat. Did she say it was one of the corner rooms? I remember that. Maybe it was this one. No? Oh, hello. What the fuck? I can't remember where she said. I wasn't listening. No? No! Oh, what have I done? I don't know where I've gone. I don't know what's going on. Oh! Oh my god! It's like a whole separate place. Okay, so we like we have like an a, like a house, I guess. How long do we want to sleep for? Um, I guess like eight hours. Eight hours. That'll do. Because we've got to do some fast travelling anyway. Because we're gonna go to the Great Cairns. Seeing as I can't really do much, we'll go to the Great Cairns and get all that sorted out. Uh, come on, Boone. Let's roll. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so. I just fast travelled to Camp McCarran because it's pretty much like the best place to go from. Oh hello. The El Rey Motel. Who are you? Looks like Prim is a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Brilliant. They've got some like a bit of an outpost. That's pretty cool. Hello. What are you pointing at? Are you alright? I think he's having a moment, I don't know. Maybe we can't go over here. I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous now, because he was pointing. Um. <laughs> uh. Oh! There's a doggoo. Oh no, it's my doggoo. What's it attacking? Rex, what are you attacking? Oh. Banditos. Evil banditos. I didn't realise we were level 15. Bloody hell. I'm doing quite well. Oh, fucking hell! Who are you? Oh, dead! Oh, 
dear. Boon, thank you. It took me a little while to get my gun out there. Bloody hell. Um, fiends. I think they are chem bandits, like bandits that are really, really high on like jet and stuff. I don't know. I don't really like where we are. That looks like the wall to like a loading screen area. Oh, there's loads of fiends. Holy shit. Rex, come back. Boom! Blasted him. Or her. Holy shit. What have we got over there? Oh, the Sunset Sarsaparilla place. Sunset? Sunset Sarsaparilla. That's a lot of S's. And when I'm recording my, like, I, I like, adopt some sort of speech impediment. And I produce, like, a lot of saliva. <laughs> and I'm sort of like, ah, fah, fah, fah. It's not nice at all. Uh-oh. Speaking of not nice at all. Boon! Oh my god, Rex is just like plowing through. He's like one hitting him. Ah! That looks like a big boy. Uh oh. Rex! Rex! What are you doing? Rex! You're on fire! Cook, cook! Cook, cook! Rex, are you okay? You're fine. <laughs> Rex is like a god now that we've done his quest and I'm out of ammo. Cook, cook. I'm guessing he's the leader. Oh god, we can take his head. Uh, sure, it doesn't weigh anything, so why not? Um, we'll take those because we can sell them. That's got a DT of 12, so we're going to take it for now. I don't know if I want the flamer. There's two of them here. We'll take both and see if we can repair one with the other. Oh god. I probably should have expected that to happen. Um, no, we can't. Okay, so I'm just going to drop that one. Oh, God, they're really, really heavy. Boone, I want to take these with me, but I just don't want to hold them. So, here. Uh, in fact, take this metal armor as well, because it weighs fucking 30, man. I don't want it. In fact, that'll do me. Oh, you're going to wear it, are you? Is it better than what I've got on? No. That's fine, you can wear it then. I'm also going to wear Jessup's bandana for some reason. Get into the... the... Oh god. I just realised that he's a great Khan, Jessup. We killed him earlier. That's going to go well. Oh. Some lovely Brahmin. So we've got a head. The head of a fiend. <laughs> lovely. I'm not entirely sure how we get into Red Rock Canyon. You can see that it's up there. I'm assuming it's like round where that gap is. Near where the little uh, textures are messing up in the mountains. That looks very, very radiated. Can we see if we can unlock it as a fast travel? There we go. Poseidon gas station. Oh, there's like an outpost. Oh, I feel the need to save. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Let me save. Hello? Uh-oh. We're in trouble. Fiends have come along and they've got some mongrels. Uh-oh. There's a lot of dogs here. Oh my god. Hello? Hey? Uh, Boone? We might be making a bit of a mistake here. Oh my god, I didn't realise it was going to fireball. Oh, Boone, I'm sorry. Oh. Boone, are you alright? Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm not bothered about a little bit of fire. Rex. Rex is almost dead. Rex, stop. Oh, Rex is dead. <laughs> I mean, Rex was good, but I, I think we knew we weren't going to last too long. Who the fuck is Violet? Can I take her head as well? We lost Rex in the battle. Oh dear. Can we take her head? We can, we can take her head. Let's take the Psycho. Take the ammo, there we go. I don't really want to use this. It's not that great. So I'm just going to drop it. I mean, it's probably my fault that, um... Thingy's dead. 
But it's fine. I really don't care that much for him. Sorry, Rex. Sorry, boy. We can try and take him with us, but he's quite heavy. It's fine. It's fine. The king won't mind. Won't mind. He won't mind. He won't even know. We're never going to see the king ever again. I don't want to use that pistol. I want to use this shotgun. I don't even know if it's any good. I feel like I've used it before. Maybe early on in the game. But we've got another head. Congratulations to us. We've got another head. We now need to find the bloody Great Khans. So I'm just going to stick to this road and hope that it takes me to them. <laughs> that looks like a NCR radio. I don't know if there's going to be a camp up there that we can visit at some point. Um, I saw on the map Camp Forlorn Hope, which I know gives you like a bunch of NCR camp locations, but like, you visit them by proxy if you just do the NCR quest line. So I don't really want to like rush into it and stuff, and then I just get given it all anyway. I think those fiend heads are part of a bounty quest for the NCR at Camp McCarran, and I'm pretty certain we can get it, and it it costs, like, they give you, like, a lot of cash for the heads. So, hopefully, we can return and hand those in. I feel like I'm missing one, though. Just having two doesn't feel right. I feel like I should have three or four of them. <laughs> oh, my God. A fucking effigy? What is an effigy doing here? Can we go up to that and take anything off of it? I don't know if I'm going to be able to scale this mountain. Holy shit, that gave me chills. That is terrifying. I thought it was wearing like an NCR beret. It's a good job I'm not wearing my NCR armour. Instead I'm wearing one of the Dead Khan's bandanas, but it'll be fine. I don't know if I'm going to try and recruit the Great Khan's or whether we'll turn against them and just slaughter them. I don't know. I kind of wish that I had slaughtered the kings at the time. It would have been a little bit cooler. But I did want Rex. <laughs> For the brief amount of time that we had him, I did want Rex. My mom never had a mom.